Bonjour, bonjour, we are back on a new video, kind of feels like my old school videos. I moved in Paris, I have a new apartment, and so this is kind of one of the coffee I go to, the brasserie. We're gonna work with blue. When you're olive skin and you work with blue, it makes you look even more tired, even more dull, so I'm of course gonna remove my dark circles. I should call them the postpartum <laughs> dark circles. This video has been shot kind of quick after the previous video where I talk about how I hide my dark circles. So if you want to know more on how I did that, you can watch that video. It's pretty helpful. Uh, so I'm not gonna go over everything I've done, but I do this sort of like sandwich <laughs> of concealers. The key, the key, the key after concealer is a pink blush. When you work with blue, you always want to make sure you have pink blush to kind of create a nice balance between the blue, your skin tone, to make it much more bright on the eye. I add cream highlighter. If you put powder highlighter on top of that, like forget it, it's going to look really like makeup. But if you put a cream highlighter, it kind of bring back the, the natural skin texture effect and, and it's, it's really nice. Then as you know, probably I'm in this phase with my eyebrows to have them really bushy. And so I start with this sort of like ink eyebrow pen. I have no idea how we should call this. Make it pretty bushy. And then I'm gonna add, you'll see after the, the mascara that's tinted, that's gonna add some dimension because I've noticed like if I just do the ink, then it's kind of like the ink and the hair and it kind of looks unnatural. But as soon as I add the mascara, everything comes together more nicely and, and it looks like my own eyebrow. Um, also, I really don't like the graphic eyebrows. Like I feel like it, right away you go into the, oh, I have a strong makeup done um, side of things. <laughs> so I like it to be a little bit messy, especially when you have bangs. It's great because you don't have to overthink it. You just want to feel the eyebrows. You don't need to see them that much. Then I'm going to do my lash line colored with this eye pencil. This is a blue one from the collection I did for Gana. And I'm not using others because this is just the one for me. <laughs> It is just the one for me. Usually I use a burgundy color, but um, today we're gonna work with blue. I put this blue one in my lash line and then I kind of blend out whatever is kind of on my eyelid, but I'm not on purpose adding some blue on top of the eyelid. Then I'm gonna clean up the outside corner just to make sure it lifts up my eyes and it doesn't drag my eyes down. And then I'm gonna work with this eyeliner. So full disclaimer, this is where I struggle the most. Uh, the eyeliner is not pigmented enough for me, which makes it quite challenging to make it sharp in a very fast way. And the first line, because I want to do a double eyeliner, is fine. So you just follow your eyelid and a tip that doesn't go too up, just kind of like you reach the bone of your brow bone, like from the outside corner to the tip of your eyebrow. It's a light blue, not very pigmented. And then I decided to, I was like, oh, it's a bit too light, too thin. Let me do a double liner. So I decided to add a liner on top. And this is where it was challenging because it's too liquid. So it kind of goes into the wrinkles of the eyelid very quickly. If you want to use this one, like you should really use an eye base, powder it a little bit. So the liquid doesn't go everywhere. And also because it's not pigmented enough, it's hard to see a sharp line. So I have to go over and over again, which it makes it harder to make it really clean. Anyway, I cleaned it up quickly. It was absolutely far from being perfect. But you know what? I still put the expert side on the side. I still wanted to post it because I feel like a lot of us, we want to be creative or we just want to do liner or something different from what we used to do. But we don't do it because we're really scared of making it imperfect. Most of the time, only you are going to know that it's not perfect. Because I kept that look and then I did a few meetings and I was with some friends and 
they don't try to be nice with me trust me <laughs> they're gonna tell tell like tell it to me uh i asked and they were like oh no it's fine why uh, you don't like it i was like you look it's super messy oh no honestly like you see it with the video because you have the camera in my face but in real you don't really see it and the reason why i'm saying all this is because i don't want this fear of of um, not making it perfect being in your way of doing a creative makeup because i think it's very key to always kind of surprise you because you might fall in love with yourself again so voila i just wanted to show you um my struggle i hope you will inspire you to not be scared to try something new stop thinking about perfection it's okay and just try it and the more you try the more comfortable you're going to be with this imperfection and then you'll be able to have fun with yourself if you want to know a little bit more about the messy technique <laughs> the technique is fine i do like a thick liner as a base and on top when i do the double line i'm going to follow exactly the same shape but just make it way thinner and then you can find those like little q-tip that i found i think on amazon we'll put the link to clean up the look so it looks even more perfect if i can say and now i'm just gonna add black mascara top and bottom Especially right now, I'm in a phase where I love to have a lot of mascara on the bottom. And I'm gonna finish with a Kiss Kiss Be Glow. Uh, I just wanted something like natural, dewy. It's gonna hydrate my lips and just add a tiny bit of color. What I'm wearing is very simple, very easy. When I do creative makeup, I just want everything to be super chill, not trying too hard. Anyway, I hope you'll be inspired by this imperfection and I'll see you very soon. Bisous!